Alan Shaw would make a motion to go in executive session for discussing the personnel. Carl Grappi, second. Accept the superintendent's recommendations for uh, central office reorganization and uh, moving forward in the budget process. Second. Great. Right. All those in favor? Um, I'll just go down through each person. Andrew? Aye. Shinhouse? Aye. Carl? Aye. Don? Aye. Ethan? Mika? Aye, and Ethan wrote aye. Okay. Mike? Aye. Bob? Aye. Stacy? Sorry, aye. And did I get everyone? Okay, and I'm also an aye. So, any opposed? Everybody said aye, I guess it's good. The ayes have it. Jamie's. And now we need a motion to allow Jamie to post for an associate business manager. I move that we allow the superintendent to uh, post for uh, uh, the immediate opening of an associate business manager. I'll second. Point of interest. Could, could we amend that to with the amended job description to add that blurb? That's uh, yeah. certainly a friendly amendment. Do I do, do, do authorize the superintendent to uh, uh, post uh, to, to post for the immediate opening of an associate business manager with the amended uh, job description as discussed? I'll second. I'll second to that. Chantel. Chantel. Thanks. All right. So all those in favor say aye. Andrew? Aye. Chantel? Aye. Carl? Aye. Don? Aye. Nika? Aye. Michael? Aye. Bob? Aye. Stacy? Aye. Let the record aye. reflect that Ethan Bowen uh, typed aye by tech. All right, so unanimously we have that completed too. All right. Thank you all. Thank you, Jamie. Is there any other business tonight? Uh, this is Don. I'm sorry. This is Don. Um, I, I just wanted to talk about some of the conversation we had tonight regarding the food service. I think may, we might try and increase our ability to sign people up for free and reduce lunches. I think that would also improve our cash flow. I agree, Don. It's been on the admin team agenda, and one of the things I'm looking at is uh, we pulled the, together the food service workers last week, and they're meeting again this week. And we're going to try to meet with them regularly across the SU to ensure that we are all on the same page on how important that is and how we go about it. We're also pulling together the registrars now across the SU on a regular basis, which should help us with some of those things. My experience, Jamie, my experience is that uh, parents refuse to fill out those forms. I'm also going to look at how I can do a better job maybe educating families on what those, why those forms are important. Um, I've gotten some feedback that my letters are great, but maybe I could do some more tape videos that better access for families. So I may try that out here as we, in the upcoming weeks. Uh, like little superintendent videos that we then post on social media and we can embed in emails. Um, and I'm gonna try to do, a, one of them I was thinking would be on those forms and explain to families that they support us 
uh, not only our food service program, but they support us in grants and materials for our schools. And that just completing those forms are really important uh, for the sustainability of the SU as we move forward. I don't know if, I mean, I, do you guys think that'd be helpful? I don't know. I thought it would be worth a try. I mean, if we have open houses, you know, like traditional open houses, I was going to have us have a table set up at every building to try to, you know, help folks with the paperwork. So I'm going to reach out to the registrars to see if there's other means of how we could offer that support. If folks are just intimidated by the paperwork too, because it can be intimidating. And then add that to the video as well. Uh, how, you know, how to access help if you need it. And the other thing, Jamie, is the, that form usually goes out with a whole packet of stuff that you need to fill out. Maybe it's something with a separate letter that goes out to get people sent in form. Yeah, no, I agree, right. It's such an important form that, you know, we need to make certain that we capture it on its own and that it doesn't get lumped up with everything else that we're asking folks to fill out right now, of which COVID has added even another level of forms and stuff that we're asking them to fill out. So, um, but any ideas you have, especially parents and guardians or grandparents that you think of, email them to me around this because, you know, I'll definitely look for us to implement them. And you, you know best on how it would make the most sense for us to get that information out to folks. Any other business tonight, guys? Jamie, I was just going to ask about the transportation survey. Um, anything we can do to help get to get that out? I mean, I got your voicemail, I got the text and, and information, but just I was like, wait, did I fill that out? And then I went. Well, you know, we had people survey. fill it out. I mean, we got a decent number across the SU. But it's not an, it's a number of which I'm still nervous if folks didn't fill it out and all of a sudden we realize on the first day of school, I've got a bus that's over capacity. And you know, I've said to the admin team and I've said to you, that first day is gonna be critical to our success like no other. Because if we mess this up somewhere, you know it's gonna be hard to recover from that from a PR standpoint and just our family's confidence and trust so yeah if you want to just you know push that information out on facebook talk to your friends it's a quick survey but it will help us because what i'm looking at is if i have to adjust a route right now based on numbers we still have time to do it um, you know if i have a route that has you know 35 riders and i have another run that has 15 then i can adjust it also if i have a district that doesn't need all their buses right now and we could run it with one. That's one, maybe could be a savings for the district, but two, we could help you use a, that another district could use that bus if they needed to um, until we make certain the numbers are stable. I'm just looking at how do I ensure the first four days of schools go out without off without a hitch? And there was just a couple of districts that I didn't like the return rate. It wasn't the whole SU, but there was a few that I just, I was nervous about. The numbers didn't make sense. Um, you might want to clarify if you want virtual academy people to be filling it out. And I found it a little confusing sometimes as to what applies to the virtual academy people. No, that's good feedback. That's good feedback, Andrew. Thank you. All right. Anything else, guys? Uh, this is Sean. I, I was intrigued about the comments that I've been hearing about CBS being involved and I wondered what um, what liability are we putting ourselves out there for if things don't go well and are we going to be just a lightning rod from either side frankly well uh, they were going to be focused on our professional development on how we were training teachers in implementing outdoor ed specifically around how do you teach Okay. literacy and math in an outdoor setting um so that's what it was going to be focused on is how we train teachers up and the planning um but the sad news is i just got an email today that they're not going to make it Thursday. <laughs> so i was disappointed because i was looking at you know i wanted folks to see how we were training our folks up in, a, in order to implement so 
Um, they said they were wicked interested in the story. One of the things was, of course, they had to follow the state guidelines around travel, of course. And they got pulled to another story this week, which wasn't going to allow them to meet those guidelines. So now I wish that we had allowed a local folks to see the training they did. You know what I mean? I was excited about CVS, but now I wish we had captured on CAX or something. Because our teachers are working really hard. The in-service plan is really good. Is it too late? It might not be. Now that I found out that they canceled on us, I'm, I've got some connections at CAX. I'm going to reach out. Because it could be the same story on, look how WRVSU is getting their teachers prepared. Anything else, guys? Jamie, or did we cover everything you wanted to? Yes. All right. If there's nothing else, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I move we adjourn. Second. All right. We are adjourned. Everybody have a great week.